Okay, I'm, oh, let's get a little bit closer. All right, am I closer, come on. Okay, I hope there's no wind noise. I'm actually using my little mic with my GoPro. This is supposed to help with this. I wanted to make this video. Uh, one thing, this, this wind that just came up here, that's why I haven't had this thing stood up. I knew that the second I got to the point where I was ready to drag it up, all this wind would come out of the north. What I wanted to make this video about though, is showing people exactly what trees and structures do to your turbines. You see, this thing, this is the little annoying 500 that doesn't really do much of anything. And our wind is uh, east by northeast. Actually, the east of breeze up there is almost pointed due east for a little bit there. But see, everything's got to go through that tree and that building before it gets to this turbine. And it makes it unstable. But you think, well, there's a, you know, that tower and that tree's right there, so that makes sense, right? This little turbine over here kind of has the same issue. Everything's blowing around this tree makes it a little bit unstable. On top of that, the wind coming off the top of the, the, the building, it's sloped. So by the time it hits that, it's a little turbulent, moves it around a little bit. But with this wind, this, thing, this turbine here, this is the 700 watt turbine. It's a good five or six feet above that tree and about 10 feet on this side of it. So you would think that that's far enough away and high, you know, far enough away from the tree, high enough above the tree that it shouldn't affect it very much. But you can look at how stable the Easter Breeze is. The Easter Breeze is at 32 feet. This one is at 25 feet. And all the wind rolling off the top of that tree, it jumps up to go over the tree. It's jumping up to go over the building. And it just, whenever it's coming out of uh, that northeasterly direction, just throws it all over the place. This is why if you've got a turbine next to a building, you want it to be at least 10 feet above it, whatever it's mounted on, if it's right next to it. Like this tree, it really needs to be about, you know, 10 or 15 feet above the tree, not just a good six or seven feet or five feet, I can't remember. The tree's taller than it was whenever I put the turbine up. But like I said, that's just an example of obstructions and what even a seemingly small obstruction will do to your airflow. This turbine actually still does really great if the wind is coming straight out of the north, even though that other turbine is there. And then, you know, south and west, out of the east, it does good. But if it comes out of the, uh, the northwest or northeast, it goes all over the place. It's, it's useless. Let's just look at the meters. Just since we're here. All right, so far, in the last couple of days, the east breeze has peaked at... 23.68 amps, 1200 watts. We have not had a lot of high winds. What you're looking at out there right now is about as uh, gusty as it's gotten. And it's calmed down just a little bit. Uh, this is the annoying five, no, this is the 400 watt turbine. The annoying 400 watt turbine, <laughs> or not annoying, this, this is the 400 watt turbine that I actually like. 439 watts, that's the one that's mounted on the building. And I think it said 8.6 amps. This is the 700, it's peaked at 747. It did that yesterday, a good gust. 14.3 amps, 
I do have uh, the annoying 500 is actually going through this uh, cutting edge inverter. And so far, it's produced 0.67 kilowatt hours over the last week. <laughs> so, now, that's that. I'm still looking for a couple of 12 volt turbines to test that out with. Anyway, like I said, just wanted to do that real quick video just to show you guys what that little obstruction will do. Now if you're putting one up, it needs to be well above whatever else you got going on. I'm willing to bet that in the south wind, that tree will mess with that Easter breeze too. Oh well. Stay tuned guys. I am definitely going to get this thing up in the next couple of days. I just need it to be calm. I'll be guaranteed it's going to be calm <laughs> for an hour so I can get it stood up and bolted to the post and then the post poured. So, have a nice evening. Stay safe. Good night guys.